What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using my favorite weather combo of all time. We have ourselves a T-Tar and x team for ranked regulation G. Now when it comes to Tyranitar and x both these Pokemon make my top 10 list of favorite Pokemon of all time. So pairing them up together makes sense why this is my favorite weather combo of all time. Let's talk about Tyranitar in our first slot. Tyranitar has Sandstorm with the clear amulet as item. On top of that, it's got the Flying Terror type, which is easily the best Terror type for this Pokemon with Helping Hand, Rock Slide, Knock Off, and Terror Blast. Now, when it comes to Extra, it is holding the Life Orb, making it do a ridiculous amount of damage. On top of that, it's got Sand Rush to pair up with this Tyranitar, doubling its speed in the Sandstorm. It's got Stellar Terror type with EQ, Rock Slide, High Horsepower, and Protect. Our restricted Pokemon on today's team is going to be none other than Zamazenta. Zamazenta has been so good in rank regulation G, and it's going to work perfectly on this team. It's got Dauntless Shield, Rusty Shield as its item and ability, Rock and Body Press, Wide Guard, Heavy Slam, and Coaching to coach up our physical attackers. Our final three Pokemon on today's team features Fluttermane, Iron Bundle, and Ogre Pond. Iron Bundle and Fluttermane are going to be great for the special attacking side. On top of that, this Fluttermane can imprison Trick Room, which is always good for countering Trick Room teams. And last but not least, this Ogre Pond, here for big time physical attacking and to counter Kai Ogre teams. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this T-Tar and Extral Sandstorm team. First match coming at you guys, and we are going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex team. Now, this team is pretty much Trick Roomers, right? They got Incineroar, Ice Rider Calyrex, Urshifu, Ursaluna, Amoongus, and Raging Bolt. Something that stands out to me is only one Trick Room setter, which is going to be Ice Rider Calyrex. So leading Fluttermane is going to be great because we can just imprison Trick Room and kind of get after it that way. On top of that, Intimidate won't affect it because it's a special attacking, and you can't fake it out because it's a ghost type. So Fluttermane, great lead for us. They also have no way of weather control, so our weather squad is going to be nice. So I'm actually just going to go Fluttermane, and I'm going to go with Simon Senta here, and then in the back end, we're going to bring Weather Squad, which seems to probably be a better play for us, right? I like it. I like it, but I wonder who they're going to lead here. It could be Incineroar. If it is Incineroar, they're obviously just going to fake us out. I could just protect it, or I could just go into straight body press and try to try to pick up a KO. But I like Fluttermane here. Imprisoning Trick Room is always so good. A lot of opponents don't expect it, and we can just cancel out what they're trying to do. So hopefully they lead Ice Rider Calyx, and they're looking to go for Trick Room. If not, obviously I can do some big-time damage with Fluttermane itself. Just Dazzling Lee and Moonblast. Always works fine. So let's see who they got. Calyrex and Urshifu are going to come out here. We are hands down going to... Ooh, what are we actually going to do here? What are we going to actually do here? Because a Surging Strikes is actually not looking good for us. But honestly, we outspeed, right? So I should just be able to pop it in prison and get, get on top of this. So Yeah, I'm going to go in prison here. I do have a Stellar Terror type, which is eh. But I like in prison here, and I like just going into a Body Press into Urshifu. I think that's our play. I am scared of like Surge of Strikes. I am terrified of Surge of Strikes. Yeah, they're terrestrializing in the water. This is looking a little scary. Can you go after my... Oh, you're going to terrestrialize Calyrex into Fire Terror type. Okay. That's fine by me. That's no problem. You got to be going for Trick Room, right? The prison comes out here. We block everything up. And Body Press now flies, which should do a great chunk of damage, which it does. Over half damage onto you. And the real question is, is Imprison still on the field, or can they Trick Room now? That's my real question. That is my real question. Maybe I should have just popped Trick Room instead of going Imprison. Hopefully Imprison's still on the field. I would really hope so. It's not. That really hurts the soul. That really hurts the soul. So now we're sitting here. Um. Huh. Could just go into extra drill, but hmm. Stellar Terror type really not gonna help us here. We might as well just go into you and throw some rock slides across the board. Yeah, so now we're gonna go T Tar here. We get the buffets out here. A little tougher news for us that this trick room just flies out here. We should have probably made that read because that is what I was scared of. And I probably should have just went into a trick room instead of everything. So I'm gonna go rock slide here. And I could honestly just wide guard, but I don't think he goes for a glacial lance. I really don't. So I could just coach up my boy right here. I could coach him up. But if they get off a of Surge Strikes, that's going to be tough to do. So honestly, let's just go Body Press here. But he's going to end up going for an Aqua Jet, which is rather smart play there. And Urshu is going to lose a little bit of HP. Hopefully Rock Slide can just KO. He goes for a high horsepower here, which we soak no problem. I'm bulked. 
on both. Can Rock Slide KO this Urshfu? It does not. I should have just body pressed into Calyrex anyway because Buffets are going to finish them off. Yeah. Should have body pressed into Calyrex because now they're just going to bring out Ursaluna, which is uh, a little scary, right? Ursaluna is so scary. Ursaluna doesn't sound well. Doesn't sound right. So, I mean, Wygard could be good here because Hyper Voice. I mean, no, it's not Blood Moon. Wygard could be good here, though, for Glacial Lance, but I think they're just going for high horsepowers and, like, headlong rush. They could be going for EQs. Tough news, but we gotta waste out some turns here. We gotta waste out some turns. And Amoongus is actually gonna come in here. Now, Amoongus... Oh, man. We don't like Amoongus. <laughs> Amoongus is just tough news. The real question is, who is he gonna put to sleep? Because I would love to just terrible S and look to KO. But honestly, Rock Slide's definitely in play. So I'm gonna go Rock Slide here. Um, I guess we'll just try to body press Calyrex. I wish I would have body pressed Calyrex last turn. But someone's going to sleep here. We should to waste out these turns, man. We should to waste out these turns. And he ends up choosing Zamazenta. Okay. Is Zamazenta going to go to sleep? Are you going for a high horsepower again? I would think so, right? Now you're going for a Glacial Lance, which we should both soak. Fine, here, right? Yeah, okay. So we both soak the, this. Rock Slide's going to fly. It's going to connect, which is good. It's going to bring Calyrex a little bit lower, which is nice. Because he will take some buffed damage. So Zamazenta's going to be slumped for a little bit. He's probably going to honestly Pollen Puff this turn. And then just go for another Glacial Lance. Now, I wish I could just wide guard this, but obviously I'm asleep. Tough news for us. Tough news for us. So I'm going to go for the Rock Slide again. And honestly, if I can wake up, I'd love to just go for a wide guard here. I'd love to just go for a wide guard. So at least our turn is pretty good. Pretty well. Nothing crazy. We still have Terra. I am obviously still asleep, which is awful news. And you going for Palm Puff here? Yeah, this was pretty simple play. Palm Puff into Glacial Lance. We will have one turn of Trick Room left. And Glacial Lance is going to pick up a KO on to Titar. Alright, so Zamasenta soaks pretty well. Rather well. And I'd love to just be able to go for an EQ here. Because he's probably honestly just put me to sleep. So we should just play the smart card and just protect uh, Exegel here. Because we have, we will have another turn left in... Uh, left in... Uh, what is it called? Sandstorm. Let's see, how many turns are left in Sandstorm? We have two turns, so we'll have one turn left in Sandstorm, which is good. We're going to outspeed him regardless, but I think from here it's just a simple protect here. And we don't show him that we have Wide Guard just yet. We could coach through and try to get this attack boost. Not bad for us, because again, you're probably just Palm Puffing and going for a... Uh... Yeah, you're probably just Palm Puffing and going for a uh... Glacial Lance again. The Calyx ends up just protecting. Can I wake up here? This could be big time wake ups for us. This could be big time wake ups for us. Can we wake up here? What are you going for, Amoongus? Swore? Yeah, you're going for a Swore. Wake up here, Zamazenta, because I'm pretty sure coaching works through Protect. I read it in one of my comments, so huge shout out to you guys. Of course, I'm still slumped. Lovely, I'm still slumped. So, is that three turns? I think that's three turns right there for us. I think that's a three turn sleep. So, now from here, we honestly, we still have Terror type, which is awesome. And I'm going to pop it, and I'm just going to go for an EQ. I'm going to go for an EQ, and I'm going to Wide Guard, so it protects my Zamazenta from the EQ damage. And EQ, honestly, with the Stellar Terror type, should probably pick up the double KO. So I like this. I like this. Can Exodrill clutch up for us? He ends up withdrawing the Calyrex. This has got to be... No, it's going to be Incineroar, so he's going to want to Intimidate me. Okay. Intimidate comes out here, and this is honestly a good play for him. It's honestly a really good play for him. So he intimidates us. I'm hoping this can still do some nice damage. Because I know an EQ minus one with extra can still KO. And I can always coach him back up to normal, let's be honest here. But the fake out is looking a little scary. So I terrestrialize my extra. I put the stellar terror type onto him. I'm going to wake up. We end up wide guarding, which is awesome. I'm not going to be hit by this EQ. And I'm really hoping I can pick up the double KO here. Or at least the KO onto a move this year, right? At least the KO onto Amoongus. Do me a favor. Amoongus, get on out of here. Can we KO the Amoongus? We do KO the Amoongus. And we do some big time damage onto Incineroar, which is great. Which is beautiful. So we love that damage. So now they have a fake out chance. Now they can fake me out. Sandstorm is gone. We still outspeed, which is fine. Now they can fake me out. And the real question is, who do I attack here? They're probably faking out. Let's be honest. They're probably faking out. 
extra drill, right? They're probably faking out extra drill. But I think we just attack. I think we just go rock slide and we go for a body press. I think both these should KO the Calyrex. And that's the main Pokemon that we need going. So we're going to double down the Calyrex here. He's going to fake out Zamazenta. If rock slide lands, we win this game all day. Rock slide, need you landing. Need you landing for the win. I love you, extra drill. I love you. You're minus one, but this should still pick up the double KO. This should still do it. Wait a minute. We're in a little bit of trouble here. We're in a little bit of trouble. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Trick Room comes out here. So instead of Wide Garden, we're honestly just going to double attack. Because I'm pretty sure Glacial Lance will not KO my Zamazenta. So I think from here, we, we, we could just freely go into high horsepower and body press. Instead of going for a Wide Guard and then him potentially just like hitting me with a different move. KO my x -Drill. So yeah, we're just going to double down attack. So smart place for us. x coming in clutch with the big time Terra. Wide Guard helping Zamazenta stay alive. EQ doing big time damage. Everything working out perfectly. I don't think this Calyrex can pick up KOs onto me. Or double KO, right? I don't think it can. I guess we'll find out right here. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. But yeah, I'm almost certain. As you guys seen earlier in the match, Zamazenta was soaking Glacial Lances. And they just end up canceling battle. They don't even give it a shot. So we're one to know. Let's go hop into our second match. Match number one went perfectly. Titar and Extra thriving out here. And we're looking for back-to-back -back wins here in match number two. But they have one of the kings of Trick Room. Actually, I would say two of the kings of Trick Room. Rhyperior and Ice Rider Calyrex. This team screams Trick Room, but their only Trick Room setter is going to be Calyrex. And honestly, imprisoning it with Fluttermane could be really good for us. So let's lead Fluttermane and try to just cancel out Trick Room if that's the case. So we're going to go Fluttermane here. On top of that, they have no weather control. The T-Tar Extra in the back end is going to be perfect here. So I'm going to go Zamazenta, Fluttermane, Extra Drill, T-Tar. I get down with that. I can definitely get down with that. I like that. I like that. But we're going to have to watch out for Urshfu. Urshfu obviously just hitting hard at all times. But I feel as they're definitely leading like Calyrex here. And they're just trying to get off Trick Room. And if not, we might need to save our Fluttermane for the back end. Because canceling out Trick Room is going to be massive. We can't allow them to set up Trick Room. They'll just win the match. They'll just win the match. But they end up going Extra Drill and... The bird, which is kind of fine by me. I don't I don't mind this. I don't mind this because I could just go into a move. Or I could just hard swap you into like T-Tar here. Because what could you be going into? You're not going into a fighting move. Let's be honest here. You're not going into a fighting move into the Flutter main slot. We could just go into T-Tar here, which I like. I want to save my Flutter main. Imprisoning Trick Room is going to be massive if we need it. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm just going to stick with my typing. I'm just going to body press the, uh, the Vegelaki here. So we'll swap to Fluttermane. They might be terrestrializing the bird into steel, which is another reason why I don't really want to touch it. And we're just going to go into T-Tar here, because they're definitely not going into a fighting move here. They're definitely not. And there's that terror type. So they're going to terrestrialize the bird 100% into steel, right? No doubt in my mind. Bird into steel. Bird into steel. What did I say? It's an easy read. So they swapped the bird into steel. That's fine by me. I get out T-Tar, which is good. And he's going to go for a Thunder Wave, which is... We're dodging, which is great. Good news for us. We dodge that. Brave Bird now flies into this slot. My T-Tar soaks rather well. Does still do some nice damage. But we soaked that better than the Fluttermane would have. The Body Press now flies. We've one-tapped the Regilecki. Get it on out of here. Get it on out my face. So now we have Sandstorm set up. Um, if they do go into Calyrex, uh, that could be a little bit of a problem now. It's going to be Urshfu, which is great. Dark Urshfu. The Dark Urshfu flies through here. Um, I could go into a Terra and just Terra Blast. And I think that's my best bet because now I just want to go into a Body Press into this slot. Because if I had to guess, one of you guys are going into a fighting move into the T-Tar. One of, one of you guys are. So if I Terrestrialize Flying, I could just get after that one. Yeah, that works. And then I could Body Press this Burn. This is actually a nice little play for us here. If they can pick up a KO here, we're sitting in a beautiful position. A beautiful, lovely position. So we hit that Terra button, we go straight into flying, put four balloons on our head. I always love the balloons. The flying balloons. And Brave Bird is going to fly into Samusena, which isn't actually doing a lot more than I thought it would. Let's be honest here. Body Press is going to pick up the KO, no problem. And T and uh, what is that? Urshu's got to be going for a close combat into t -Darn. You got to be. There's no way you're doubling down into Zamazenta. Yep, there's the close combat. And you are doubling down into Zamazenta, which Zamazenta soaks, so that's fine by me. 
that's fine by me. Your defense is going to drop. We're going to pick up the KO onto you with this Terra Blast. If you're Focus Sash, um, Buffets are going to take you out. So everything working perfectly here in match number two. You are Focus Sash. You are Focus Sash. Like I said, Buffets will just handle our light work at this point. Go ahead, Buffets. Do your job. Handle our light work. Thank you very much. So we get rid of you. And if their last Pokemon, they have one Pokemon left, it's got to be Ice Rider, right? And if it's Ice Rider, we can just body press that. Hit it with knock off. They don't have Terra anymore. And that's going to be GG's. Yep, there's Ice Rider. Thanks for playing. This going to be a sweep. A nice, lovely sweep. We just played that one perfectly. We just played that one perfectly. So we'll go for a knockoff here. We got the stab boost. And we'll go for a heavy slam. You can't harass last, so that's going to be game. Heavy slam fine. Actually, heavy slam might not do too much. We might not get the sweep. I might have lied. Unless knockoff can pick up the KO. Man, it doesn't. It doesn't. Body press might have been able to do more damage than that. Let's see, he goes for a Glacial Lance, so he's going to pick up a double KO. So I jinxed ourselves with the sweep, but we're still going to win this match, no problem. No problem. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. Honestly, Trick Room would have been the better play there. He should have Trick Roomed. Honestly, if you Trick Room, you, you could have won this match. Because if he would have Trick Room, he would have out outsped us at that point. He could have then went for... He could have then went for a, what's it called? A, uh, a Glacial Lance. Pick up the double KO. B plus two in the Trick Room. But I still probably would have found a way to win. I would have Protect stalled out some Buffett's turns. Um, I have Focus Ash on my Flutter main too. I would have stalled out at least. I would have stalled out enough turns there. But now we can just go for a Earthquake. We just have to make sure we land a shot and a Dazzle Gleam. Definitely in our best interest. And now they finally cancel battle. So yeah, if they popped Trick Room, they would have had a better shot. But I think we were winning that battle regardless. Moving on to our final match. And your boy is sitting 2-0. We already guaranteed ourselves a winning record. And honestly, if you guys made it this far, make sure you guys just subscribe to the channel. If you're not a subscriber, what are you doing? Hopefully you guys are still enjoying my content. I really appreciate it if you guys do subscribe. We actually just passed 25,000 subscribers. That's a blessing. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys for all the support. But we're going up against a Terrapagos team here. And this has got to be a Trick Room team, right? This has got to be a Trick Room team. You got Smeargle, you got Torkoal, you got Slowpoke, which honestly probably has Evil Late and Kapop Trick Room. Robombi's out here without Creme. This is just looking like Trick Room and then like Decorate, uh, what is that? Decorate Terrapagos, right? So, I mean, Fluttermane going to be great. We can imprison early on here. Zamazenta could also be good for wide guard purposes and stuff like that. Um, they could have Fake Out with Smeargle, which is eh, a little annoying. But I think we just go Zamazenta, and then we go in with our Titar Extra squad. So, yeah, we're just going in with this squad again. It worked so well in that last match. I think it's just going to be fine here in match number three. And we're looking for that perfect record. I would love to get a perfect record with Titar Extra. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this is my favorite weather combo of all time. Titar and Estral, two of my favorite Pokemon of all time. I think they both are in my top 10. And I just, I just love playing with them. Ever since the Sword and Shield days. Ever since the Sword and Shield days. I love playing with them. But I also, I, I loved Extra when he first came out in Generation 5. He just looked, he looks so dope with the sprite. He obviously looks a bit derpier now. Like, he still looks cool, but he doesn't look, like, as bad as he was. When I say bad, I mean cool. He looked so sick. He looks so sick. But they end up going Twinkle alongside with Rabombi. Now, is Rabombi a Trick Room Center? That's my question. I feel like it could be. So, honestly, we're just going to go into that. And we're just going to go into Body Press here. Actually, a Terra Body Press would be in our best interest. I want to Terrasalize right now just so I don't take big time damage to Eruption. I could probably soak an Eruption if I Terrasalize. So, that's why I Terrasalize. Now, Rabombi, I don't know too much about, but this is just screaming like you have to set up Trick Room, so I'm just, I'm just assuming that you don't Trick Room. I have Focus Ash on Fluttermane, which is great. I can imprison here. And we can go into our Fairy Terror just to, you know, neutralize some of that fire damage. Because if we're taking a super effective eruption, that's not good. Or a super effective heat wave, it's just not good. So we imprison here, turn one. We're going to hope that you're rocking Trick Room. And Rabombi actually has Switch of Rue. It's gonna fail. It is gonna fail. So what you what are you trying to get my Dalt in the shield? Is that what you're trying to do? I don't think you're allowed to hold that. We guys are going for a heat wave that helps out Zamazenta tremendously. I can now go into a dazzling gleam. Actually, we'll rather just shadow ball this slot. And then just uh take out you with body press. Actually. I'm gonna switch that around. We're gonna go shadow ball here. And we're gonna go heavy slam into you. Make life a bit easier for us. 
So we have imprisoned Trick Room on the field. Um, Shadow Ball can now fly and finish off this Torkoal. And this match is looking pretty good for us. Shadow Ball says bye bye to you. Heavy Slam is probably taking out Rabombi unless it's Sash. It probably is Sash. It's just such a lightweight Pokemon. And he's going to switch through our Focus Sash, which is no problem. What are you giving us? Iron Ball, maybe? What you got cooking for us? Choice Scarf. You're going to choice me in the Shadow Ball. That's fine. That's fine. You can choice me in the Shadow Ball all day. Heavy Slam is going to fly through here, and you're going to Sash up. No big deal. <coughs> no big deal, Rabombi, with the Focus Sash. Let's see what they go into. Slowpoke, maybe? Like, you have to try to set up Trick Room. You have to. You have to, unless this is Calyrex. It could be Calyrex. And if it is Calyrex, we get to throw that Shadow Ball right in that slot. We're choosing into it now. So let's see who their final Pokemon is. Or not their final Pokemon, their next one. Oh, why do I think they have Calyrex? It's gonna be Trapicos. So I can obviously wide guard this. I should honestly just double down. That's in our best interest. Your Shadow Ball has no effect. Oh, you little booger. You little booger. We're actually just gonna go for it. Can I Dazzling Gleam? Oh, yeah, we're not choice yet. We're not choice yet. That's gorgeous. So I can go Dazzling Gleam and then Body Press. Take off the Terra Shell, too. Withdraw Rabombi. And this has got to be slow. Food. This has got to be a Trick Room Center. Or Alcreme. It's Smeargle. I'm getting everything wrong today. Dazzling Gleam's going to knock off Terra Shell. I think, honestly, Zamazenta could just pick up the KO one, too. Oh, it's a Trap Ghost, right? Yeah, awesome. No, this match was simple. This match was so easy, and then they turn off their console. We love it. A 3-0 perfect record with the Titar Extral team, and we end it with a sweep. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Titar and Extral dominating in ranked regulation G. Obviously, they got some help from San Vicente, Fluttermane, and Iron Bundle, and we didn't even use Ogre Pond today. This team was just phenomenal all around. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.